Panera. Jason, what are your opinions on Panera? Uh, I think it's like food that you could probably make, but then like they charge an arm and leg for. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, I actually, I actually agree with you on that one. Yeah, I do agree with you on that one. But Panera is in the news today because a family is suing Panera Bread after a college student who drank their charged lemonade dies. It's kind of a heavy topic. So, yeah. So we are going to be um, trying to give like exactly what we think about this. Uh, honestly, like just saying this terrible, terrible situation. But uh, we're going to inform you guys on what's happening and let you guys know maybe to avoid this if if you you hadn't heard of this. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to read off right now. So the college student had a heart condition and wasn't aware of the drink's caffeine contents. Jason, do you know a, a little bit about this charged lemonade? Yeah, um, we both know. So we've had charged lemonade before, um, both on for this channel and, and for not on this channel. Um, and it is like one of the most caffeinated drinks you can buy, caffeinated and sugary drinks you can buy. Yes. So actually, right before this, we did go to Panera to grab some. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting because, Jason, what did we see at the Panera? We saw signs everywhere, just on every single door, right next to the lemonade, next to the cashier, just everywhere. Yeah, we'll have pictures like right here. But yes, there was literally front door, cashier, a drink machine everywhere just because like this is a crazy situation and like you mentioned this thing is a super highly caffeinated yes so let me read off a little bit more about this it has more caffeine than a red bull and monster energy drink combined for a large yeah it's basically a pre-workout so most pre-workouts don't even have almost 4, 400 uh, milligrams they usually have like 300 at most that's that's crazy yes so the thing is that the legal complaint calls for the 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 legal complaint calls the drink a dangerous energy drink and panera failed to appropriately warn customers about its ingredients when we went there, we saw the sign and we saw how small the sign is for the for the charged lemonade. Yeah, I mean, because it's been there from the beginning that um, there's like uh, there's a warning of like how much is in this drink. But then the question is whether the average consumer, when they look at the amount of caffeine in it, whether they will understand how much caffeine it is. Because they do mention on there, like, oh, they have, like, 295 and then, like, 395 or something for a large. Yeah. And, which is insane, but they also have on there, and says, like, um, that this drink has the equivalent caffeine of, like, a, uh, one of their coffees, which Mm. might, which I think is a bit misleading, because I don't know if, if coffee typically has that much caffeine in it normally caffeine and sugar yeah so the thing is uh and this is like you mentioned it, the sign is there but the thing that it also argues is that the charged lemonade is offered side by side to its non-caffeinated uh, drinks that is true which that is very true actually yeah it's crazy because like we we, we just went there you can mm. easily mistake like one of these like non-caffeinated drinks for like these charged lemonades too by the way they charge more for charged lemonade than the other drinks i'm pretty sure but um but yes the the they're sitting right next to each other and i don't think that there was proper signage to let you know that these were caffeinated maybe if they had a little sign on top like a wooden one that says caffeinated i think so consumers know at least that's what i'm thinking for the future but i mean like in general Mm. I don't think that the average consumer would read in detail like, oh, this has this much caffeine. Um, I would just think that charge would just mean that it has like maybe additional sugar or extra flavor because it could like it can mean a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean um, caffeine in there. 
Like you can literally have like flavor packed or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm surprised now. Like I feel like they should move the charged lemonades from the front where people can just automatically go and fill it up and probably put it behind the counter. So then like you'd have to like ask for it. Yeah. Specifically. And yeah, I actually, I actually think that's a better idea thinking about it. Yeah. And you know why we had this discussion earlier that you could technically get more caffeine than, than what is on, on the uh, signage because of refills. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so technically, you could have multiple, like, you could have over, like, 500 milligrams of caffeine in over two two cups. Which oh, is no, insane. yeah, like, you'd be at, like, 800, it's e- almost. This thing is very easy to drink, I will say that. It's very mm-hmm. sugary. You won't really notice till later that you are caffeinated and really wired. <laughs> yeah, your eyes are, like, glued open. Yes, so... I think the very last thing that I want to mention, and before that, I want to say that if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. We put out videos daily. We have a library of over 200 videos, so I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure there's something in there that you will like. Yeah, and, you know, I, would you try this after this? I mean, like, there's also the whole, uh, like, one chip challenge uh, oh, incident yeah. that happened, and, I mean, that seems more niche of like a thing to go try then like lemonade at like a chain restaurant you know Mm -hmm. it's like this one is like there there's definitely more of an audience of people um to potentially get it yeah and let us also know um if you were informed about this i know it's been in the news recently um because it's like it literally just happened but let us let us know and the thing that i did want to mention was that one large charged lemonade has 390 milligrams of caffeine and nearly 30 teaspoons of sugar. It is also 500 calories and 30 fluid ounces. So that within itself is insane because that's so much sugar. That's it, all the calories. That's like half a meal. Mm-hmm. And the amount of caffeine, I believe, is equivalent to four cups of coffee. Yeah, it, it is um, a lot to take in. But the other issue comes down to their drink program. Oh, my they God. Have I didn't a, think about that. Yeah, they have a subscription program where you can have as many drinks as you want. As in, you can come in throughout the day and get free drinks, whether it's coffee, soda, tea, charged lemonade. And That's crazy. Yeah, so people could theoretically come back and get more charged lemonade. And that's oh my even more god, caffeinated. that's crazy. Um, well, also let us know in the comments down below if you've tried the charged lemonade or if you will avoid the charged lemonade because of all the things that are happening. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you have anything else to to mention about this. Yeah, I, I think with everything is just like moderation and and knowing your limits. So mm-hmm. if you know like you have some issues, like be more cognizant of like what's uh, what's there, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you on that.